Hey, what's up, fellas? Doing a video for Stuart tonight. He has commissioned a pyrolysis burner with a custom-built cowling that fits right on the side of a 55-gallon drum. They have a 35-gallon drum or a 30-gallon drum inside of that. And the pyrolysis process is going to be producing some off-gasses. And they wanted to burn those off-gasses. So... I'm going to show you what we got going on here. So this is the pyrolysis burner. This is a dual fuel burner. Um, so it has other uses, but the cool thing about it for pyrolysis is the center rail combusts your off gas and it can handle quite a bit. It will draw a vacuum on that, that uh, Ventura there. This is made out of 304 stainless, very thick eighth inch 11 gauge metal. This thing's not gonna burn up on you for what you're using it for. It will last the duration of the project for sure. Here's a quick close up of the nozzle assembly itself. The center nozzle is gonna be what's burning the pyrolysis gases. And the two side nozzles, the left and right, are gonna typically be running on condensate from the condenser of the pyrolysis process. But waste oil or diesel is also definitely a viable option. I do recommend you put this burner on a stand and light it up a few times and practice running it before you put it into service. Because this will be, some of this will be taken apart for shipping. I don't want it to get all bent up. You got to be careful with dioxins and stuff like that. You want to make sure you have a very efficient burn going on to do that. You want to have this thing running in very lean conditions to burn up the dioxins and all that stuff. So... I'm not totally sure that would eliminate all of them, but you know, at some point, I'm pretty sure you can burn all that stuff up. So essentially, to control this thing, you would start off by starting the two outer burners first. And the way you would do that is to turn on the air just a little bit, a very small amount of air and a moderate amount of fuel that would get the burners going. And then as the pyrolysis process began, there's no valve on the pyrolysis rail because you do not want to throttle that gas flow and you don't want to pressure up the pyrolyzer. You will need a pressure relief valve in case this gets clogged. But what you would then do is simply turn this valve here to add some tertiary air to help burn that inside the combustion chamber a little bit because this gas is typically some pretty bad stuff so you want to make sure it's got a shroud of oxygen around it burning it very well to get rid of the carcinogens and all that crap and when you turn this valve on that's now going to reduce the flow that was going to these nozzles so you would have to turn that up just a little bit so you're dancing these valves but with a little bit of practice, it's very easy to do. It's extremely easy to do. And I do have some old footage of one of these things running. This design's a little bit better. Um, I was unable to source some of the old parts on the other design anyway, but this one breaks down a lot easier. But that's kind of the gist of it. This thing does have an angle on here to where you can adjust the angle of attack of the burner to be compatible with the refractory because you're going to want at least a one inch liner of refractory in the 55 gallon drum where the flame impinges on the sidewall anything after that you really don't need it it's fine it'll last for quite some time but i have tested this i held it up against a 55 gallon drum and it fits up there perfectly you might also drill a hole right here and kind of help hold it there as well i would prop this thing up the way it's going to be sitting is like this but when it's all said and done i if i was you i would take like a piece of wire or something and attach it to the tank and run it down and kind of hang this thing a little bit so you, you don't want a bunch of hoses and cords hanging off of this um you're in canada so i don't know what air fittings you're going to use so i'm just supplying these um 3 8 ID barbs. This is this is a 3 8 OD, but it's for a 3 8 ID tube. I don't know what you guys sell tubing in over in Canada, but that's pretty much what we got. I'll pull. So, 
That's what I got, fellas. I'm waiting for one more part before I can throw this stuff in the box, Stuart, for your other burner. My cowling's late, so I'll do what I can. Hopefully in a day, this will be headed your way.